Hi everybody, welcome back. Wow, today, um, well it's actually about three hours after I finished that Chrysler, um, I put this together. And not the box itself, but what's in the box. And it is hopefully a um, signal tracer. And I got the circuit um, just off the internet, uh, did a search and um, came up with it. And here's what the circuit that I found. Um, as you can see, pretty straightforward. Um, <laughs> not much to it at all. Even even I can build it. Um, so I decided I'm going to do that today. And um, given that I've still got that Chrysler, you know, and I don't have to take a radio out of, out of its case to test it. So I spent about an hour putting this together. And as you can see, it's a mirror image, pretty much, of the schematic. I'm not as neat, though. But... What's that? 0 0.01, 0 0.047, 2.2 meg, and a uh, little germanium uh, diode there, which does all the magic. And the outputs are going to a uh, 3.5 mil jack. Uh, it's positive there, negative lead. And the input is a uh, BNC. And again, uh, blue wire happens to be straight to the positive terminal, and the black wire to the uh, body of the earth. So, my probe, when I can find it, here it is. Again, something else lying around. Oh, by the way, I thought, I, thought, I don't know, I thought it was being cheeky and uh, using uh, a gift card um, to, uh, as, as my board. Anyway, it was lying around. I didn't have to spend any money, which is pretty much, I'll spend any extra money, which is the whole object of this exercise anyway, as well as hopefully having a uh, signal tracer that works. And um, my probe is um, nothing more than a um, simple oscilloscope probe. Again, this has been lying around the drawer for two years. Just, I just don't use them. Um, so I can use it on the oscilloscope still, but um, easy to plug in. And my amplifier is that STC Bantam that you see. And I made, I re restored this one off. Uh, just over two years ago and it's got the mp3 mod on it and it's also got the uh, preamp uh, module in it as well so that'll help boost the, uh, the signal coming out of this little thing here now the most testing I've done is I've just plugged plugged it into the uh, radio and gotten some noise out of the uh, probe so while that's warming up make sure volume's up on full here it comes, sir. Done it. That's it, get louder. Cool. So, let's do the big test. I love doing this stuff on, um, on the video because uh, hopefully it works, and if it doesn't, we'll work it out, we'll try and work out why. So, I'll get the uh, Chrysler back up here, and um, we'll switch on and see if we can get some RF signals out of it. Okay, here's the Chrysler. By the conditions, uh, oh, it's working. Smith tomorrow's again. Let's turn the volume off. And uh, the Bantam is still on. Let's earth the uh, probe. And let's go to the grid on the mixer valve. See what we get. Not bad. Uh, Part of by contrast, uh, ICRO is a much older organisation. Okay. Uh, World War II. There's a bit of overlap there. But, um, bugger if I know, but I am on the trim. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But. Some of the places so, so that uh, ICRO has done work is Thank you. Uh, cool. Let's go to the grid of the second valve, uh, six and eight, I think. I think. Blue collar industrial town. Um, about 80k's outside of Kabaka. Oh, yeah. Warm and out. That is super. It works. It works. Um, the only thing I haven't done with that probe, uh, mainly, is, is I haven't installed that switch um, to switch between RF and audio. Uh, simply just didn't have a switch. And didn't want to go out and buy one, to be honest. Um, I will eventually. So I'm just going to still, I'm going to just touch the, uh, the input line on the volume pot and see what happens. It's taking up a long time, wasn't it? It's picking it up, I'm not even touching it. 
That's loud. Turn the radio down a bit. Well, that's loud. Where else can we get a radio signal? Um, blah, 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 here. Jeez. That's cool. Okay, I'm not that interested with the audio, although that'll come in handy, uh, testing radios, but it was more the, um, the RF. That's really what I wanted. That's just great. Talk about it anyway, um, because you, you, you might. Nice, nice. Bloody thing works. Super. All right. Turn this, all this crap off. Noisy as. What I will do uh, with this is um, I'm going to uh, cover that in just some thin cardboard and then I'm going to line the inside of the box and um, the underneath of the, uh, the lid with uh, aluminium foil and try and reduce as much interference as possible. But I must admit, for such a simple design, this works really, really well. Um, and I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bother with that switch. Um, <laughs> uh, bugger it, bugger it. No, I'm happy with that. Guys, that's it. If you haven't built one, do it. Shit, I did. Didn't take long. Like I said, didn't take long. About an hour. About an hour. Just, just crap lying around the house. And um, I think it's great. So I finally got one. You beauty. This will come in handy for the future. Okay, real short video, but a, success, a successful one, I must say. I'm really impressed. Alright guys, see you later, take care, bye bye.